everybody. Uh, I wanted to run through my five top nude lipsticks that I'm enjoying at the moment. I've started again because I realised I'd put on a lipstick for something different, which was this little really gorgeous Tom Ford um, mini lipstick in Addison, but it isn't really a nude. And so rather than a million people point that out, I would start again. Um, apologies that there are no real budget options in this video. As many of you know, I'm not living at home. I don't know whether this video will go up before I have the baby or after I have the baby, um, but I'm kind of running at half mast at the moment and I don't have a hell of a lot of products with me. So it's just kind of my favorite ones really, which all happen to be quite high end. The first one I want to show you is from the Burberry Kisses range and it's called Nude, funnily enough. Um, and it, Burberry Kisses, now look, this one is kind of one of those shades that's a bit like my lips but better. You can either wear these really sheer or you can build them up, which is nice. But one thing that all the lipsticks I'm about to show you really do have in common is um, the fact they're all quite sheeny or moisturising or luscious in texture. There's nothing that's really matte or that kind of chalky look. I haven't really gone that pale. One of them is quite pale, but it's not a matte pale. In fact, two of them are. Um, so this one is quite a dark nude, really. Some people would call this a neutral, maybe, or I don't know. I'm really bad with shade names and how to describe colors. Um, but probably my favorite out of the whole five of them, if I can find it, is um, Clinique. Now, I mentioned these in my April favorites, the ColourPop primer and lipstick in one things. And Beige Pop is a brilliant, brilliant nude. This is like lipstick for starters, lipstick for people who really have never worn lipstick before because it feels a little bit like a lip balm and it applies really beautifully and it doesn't kind of stick to any chapped bits or dryness on your lips. It just smooths them over and gives this really gorgeous colour and it doesn't bleed, you know, when it kind of travels out onto your skin. Even the bright colours really stay put. So I love that one. I think that is my absolute favourite, even though I do also love the Bobbi Brown and the Adrienne from Chanel, which I'm about to go on to. Where are you, Adrienne? Adrienne is what I would call a posh nudie neutral because it's got this lovely sheen, it's very chic. It feels quite grown up, but at the same time, it's got this kind of modern edge to it, so it doesn't feel fuddy-duddy. It's really nice to wear, and it pretty much goes with anything. You could wear it to polish up your look for an evening out, or in the daytime, you know, if you just had jeans on and a sweater and trainers or whatever. It's an all-purpose lipstick. Lots of people will be laughing and won't be able to tell any difference at all between these lipsticks, but there was quite a profound difference in these shades. And if I had a face with five different sets of lips, I could put them all on at once and then show you how they looked, but that would be quite a sick thought in a way, wouldn't it? And um, next one is by Bobbi Brown. And this one is quite a pale nude. It's called Pale Beige, this one, number 70. And it's one of the creamy lip colors and it's really comfortable to wear. It's almost got a lip gloss finish to it, but it's not sticky. Um, and it's just really very sumptuous and plumptuous and makes your lips definitely look a little bit bigger. So I really like that one. It's a pale nude, but you get away with it because it's got that lovely, sheeny, glossy finish to it, so it doesn't feel scary. And then we go even paler. This is like a true nude, like a 60s nude that you'd wear with loads and loads of mascara. Um, and it is called Biscotti, this is from Laura Mercier. But again, because it's got that really juicy finish, I think this is a cream, cream sheen, is it called, these ones? Um, it's very moisturizing. It's easy to wear. It's not as scary as if you were going for that really chalky, baked on, dry lipstick look. So again, a bit of a winner. I've been wearing that if I go all to town with my eye makeup, which isn't actually that often at the moment. But um, yeah, that goes very well. So hold on, how many have we done? We're done da, 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 da. Is that five? Yes, that is five. What a quick little video this was. Um, 
I should do this really with my reds and my corals as well because I've got so into lipsticks recently. If you go onto my website, in fact I will put a link to my lipstick category and you can see all my recent lipstick posts because I've been going a bit crazy testing them out and um, I've had a little bit of a revolution with wearing lipstick because for a long time I didn't. And um, now I, do, I like it, I like the way it polishes off your look. So I hope that you found that useful if you're looking for a new lipstick and um, make sure you like, subscribe, go and check out my website and I shall see you next time.